And now we're going to talk about data appends. Data appends are functionality within Samplify, which makes it possible to obtain demographic information on survey respondents and pipe them through a variable directly to your survey. This is being done via the URL append. In order to set them up, we need to go into our project, onto the survey sections, and can see straight away on both of the surveys which we have set up here for the UK data appends and for Switzerland data appends. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to set up the UK. I can access the data appends option simply by ticking on here. One thing to take into account is data appends are optional. You do not need to set them up in order to set up a survey, test a survey, or to set up a target group or launch a target group. In case you do want to use them and want to find out more information about them, you can simply click on the learn more or search on our knowledge base for data appends. Let's set something up for the UK. We simply click into the search field and can here again either search by a name or we can simply use the drop down and go to the UK. We got an option of several demographic parameters which can be set up. These might vary from country to country. And one thing to take into account is while it might be possible to set up data appends, for example, for Argentina in our UK survey link, we wouldn't receive any information. So it's important that we do set up the data appends for the country which we've set up the target group as well, because otherwise we would simply receive blanks. In this case, we're going to use age, gender, and we're going to use region, and want to have them piped through. We can see they have been added. We can also see the country where they have been added for, for the UK. In case I don't want to use age, gender, and geo region, feel free to update them. Change them, for example, to A, G, and region. In case I'm saying, hey, I actually don't want three anymore. I just want two. We can simply just delete the age. Now we just have gender and region. Same goes for the point. If I want to add more features, I can simply click on here. The UK will still be toggled on. And I can, for example, add number and household. Also this one, I'm simply going to rename to age because I prefer having short named URL parameters. And now we have set up gender, region, and number and household. You probably wonder now, if I set these up, there are probably several options which can come true for R. How do I know which answer is going to represent what? For that, we have a very easy solution. For each data append which you set up, you get the option to download the data mapping file. Do take into account, first set up all of the data appends which you want to have, then click on the download mapping file. Clicking on this here, will download us an Excel file, which we can open. And in here, we will see all of the answer option and what value each answer option will be piped to the link. In this case, we just open this up and we open up our option text and can see for number in household, which we pipe to via the variable age, we have option one, two, three, four, five, and for one, a one is piped true. Two and two, but then we can see if the value five is piped true via the age variable in our link, it represents five or more. Similar goes for the regions which we have set up, as well as for the gender. One is, for example, male. For G, we are going to be piping through the gender variable, and two, would be female. You get the option to test with those parameters as well. In this case, we've set up GRH, and we already have automatically two identifiers on our link, which are ID and PID. Let's switch that. The SID, this is the one we will need for a successful test. And now we go down to the test section. Onto the test section, we can see now, next to the test button, we have a drop-down menu. Via this one, we can test our data appends. Clicking on here will make it possible for us to test 
50 power meters, which we attached. We can see up here, it is automatically attaching G, H, and we can see that R is added to it as well. We simply going to test them very quick again. And going back, we are seeing that everything worked fine. Go in here, can see once again, everything is done. And set up our data append for the UK, renamed our data append variables, which we want to use. We had a look at the data at the download mapping file, option check the mapping file, and we test it with them and everything is looking fine. Let's go back to our dashboard. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we hope you found this video series helpful. Please reach out to us in case of any questions and be sure to ask Dynata for end-to-end -end help with your research and audience needs.